Hello everyone and welcome to BattleBots Explained, the series where I go over the history of some of the best and worst combat robots from BattleBots. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to BattleBots Explained. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Today we're going to be going over the history and design of a robot with one of the best records in BattleBots history, ByteForce. ByteForce is from Apex Designs and built and driven by Paul Ventimiglia. The original design of ByteForce was a clamp bot designed to lift and control opponents. ByteForce was redesigned in Season 2 to be a vertical spinning bar with a leading wedge. The original ByteForce had the benefits of being able to control its opponents very well, but it had difficulty self-riding and had vulnerable treads. The redesigned ByteForce has the benefits of being a universal bot capable of handling almost any opponent, while being somewhat vulnerable to overhead attacks. Despite the flaws of both designs, the driving of Paul Ventimiglia is considered to be the strongest weapon in the arsenal of ByteForce. The lifting mechanism on the original Bike Force was electrically driven, while the clamp mechanism was driven by a linear actuator. The asymmetrical vertical bar on the redesigned Bike Force weighs in at around 40 pounds. Both versions of Bite Force had multiple configurations to deal with different opponents. The original Bite Force could substitute its clamping arm to add various wedges to the rear of the bot. The redesigned Bite Force could change between low wedge forks to get underneath nearly all opponents, a sturdy wedge to deal with horizontal spinners, and smaller wedges to deal with more unique opponents. Bite Force has an aluminum frame with a steel top armor. The various wedges that both versions of Bite Force utilized were made of hardened steel. As of episode 7 of season 4, Bite Force has a 20 and 1 record, including his wins at the Amazon Wii Mars live event in 2019, currently making it one of the most successful robots in BattleBots. Bite Force's combined wins over both designs include victories against Warhead, Mohawk, Endgame, Hypershock. Huge, Overhaul, Ringmaster, Ghost Raptor, Bombshell, Rotator, Whiplash, Minotaur, Yeti, Ice Wave, Bronco, and Tombstone. Bite Force's only loss was in the round of 16 in Season 2, where he lost a controversial judge's decision to Chomp. Bite Force's driving style tends to be calculating and precise. Paul Ventimiglia is known to be one of the best drivers in the sport today, and often targets the weak spots of his opponents. Bite Force's tactics include primarily overwhelming its opponents with calculated aggression, carefully picking them apart piece by piece. Bite Force tends to be strong against nearly all designs, including but not limited to horizontal spinners, lifters, vertical spinners, drum spinners, and most hammers, while being potentially vulnerable to unique overhead attacks and flippers. Despite these flaws, Bite Force is one of the most dominant bots in BattleBots to date, and Paul Ventimiglia is considered to be one of the best drivers in the sport as well. Bite Force won the Giant Nut in 2015 and regained his championship in 2018. 